When you think of football, you probably think of big people, big hits, and scoring those touchdowns. You probably don't think about a degenerative brain disorder, but it should be talked about. Now, I wanted to make this video mostly because my good friend from high school is an NFL player, and he mentioned that I should make a video on this exact topic. So here it is. There's a new disease on the block called CTE, Chronic Traumatic Encephalopathy. Within football, we only discovered it about 15 years ago, but it affects up to 99% of NFL players, 90% of college players, and 20% of high school football players. Though, I feel like I should mention that these numbers may be skewed a little bit because the tests were only done after death on people who thought that they might have CTE. So what is CTE? It's a really scary, progressive, degenerative brain disease, sort of similar to Alzheimer's. It starts with mood and behavior issues, works its way up to impulse control issues, aggression, depression, suicidal thoughts, and eventually paranoia and memory loss. Alzheimer's tends to occur in people who are, you know, about 60 or over, but CTE can start affecting people around the age of 40. Wow, that's pretty darn young. So how do you get CTE, and how do you prevent it? CTE is caused by repeated blows to the head. Any repeated head trauma, especially concussions, can lead to CTE. But there's no magic number on exactly how many blows that you're allowed before you start to develop the disease. So just about anybody playing contact sports can develop it. Football is the sport that everyone's got their eye on because it's so popular and based almost completely on gigantic hits. Other sports such as boxing, hockey, soccer, wrestling can all lead to CTE as well. So what's going on in our brain to cause all of these issues? The repeated head trauma causes complicated proteins called tau in neurons to misfold. These misfolded tau proteins cause other proteins to misfold, creating a chain reaction of misfolding. This is sort of similar to a prion disease you guys might have heard of. The tau proteins build up and form a conglomerate inside of the neurons, and the neurons eventually die. Now, neurons are one of the only cells in our bodies that we don't generate new cells for, so the brain just slowly dies over time. So how do you know if you have CTE? Well, sadly, you may never find out. Currently, there are zero tests to find out if you have the disease while alive. They can only diagnose you with CTE after death. If you are an athlete who is exposed to constant head trauma with multiple concussions, you may want to be just a little bit worried. But also, limit your exposure to any more head trauma. Currently, there is no cure, nor any medicines for CTE, but science is making leaps and bounds researching Alzheimer's and CTE. Hopefully soon we'll have a way to cure, or at least help those suffering with the disease. If you enjoyed, please press the like button, subscribe, and of course, have a super duper delicious day.